Hey everyone, welcome back to another Vapor on Technologies video. My name is Ryan and today we're going to be discussing the air compressors that we think pair nicely with our machines and that you guys should be looking for to actually get to accompany your machine. Now, before we get too into this, I do want to say that we here at Vapor Honing have no affiliation with any of these compressor brands and we are not sponsored to say any of this. This is just what we've heard from customers and it's what we're going to recommend to you guys because these compressors meet the requirements and from what we've heard, they're pretty good. Um, so with that being said, the first compressor that we actually recommend is the Eaton Compressor Polar Air. Um, there's actually two variations of this compressor. There is the standard version and then there's also a silent version, but they both have the same CFM. Now it is a seven and a half horsepower compressor. It has an 80 gallon tank and it's 220 volts single phase. You guys are gonna see throughout the rest of this list that there's not actually a 110 volt um, compressor that will keep up with your machine. But that Eaton compressor, the, the Polar Air, it actually comes in at 31 CFM at 100 PSI. And as you guys know, for the majority of our machines, that is more than enough CFM. Um, that's more than we recommend for things like the Weekend Warrior, the 800 base, and the 1000. Even up to the 4000, if it's a one station, it's, it's up to 30 CFM. So that's gonna be comparable for you guys. Um, that machine does come with a five-year warranty according to Eaton's website. And it is a two-stage compressor, so it's gonna be more efficient. The base price for the Polar Air is $2,352, and if you guys want to get the Silent Air upgrade, it is $2,948, which actually is lower than the rest of the machines or compressors on our list. Now, the next compressor on our list is the Ingersoll Rand Type 30. Again, this is a seven and a half horsepower compressor. It has an 80 gallon tank. It's very similar when it comes to CFM specs but it is a little bit more pricey, but the benefit of something like the Ingersoll Rand is you can actually pick it up at places like Northern Tool. It's much more accessible, so you don't really have to worry about shipping costs. Um, we've seen it for around three grand, depending on where you guys are trying to buy this thing from. Ingersoll is a pretty good company. As long as you take good care of the compressor, it'll last a long time. It's actually, uh, John used to run a lot of Ingersoll Rands here whenever we were first getting started before we had our larger compressor run all the machines, that's what we had. This thing is running at 24 CFM, but that's at 175 PSI, which you shouldn't really be blasting at that pressure. You're normally gonna to top out at about 100, which means this compressor is going to be more than capable of running your machine. Now, the final compressor that we're going to recommend today is the Quincy QT Pro. Now, this is also a seven and a half horsepower compressor. It's got an 80 gallon tank, just like the rest of these, and it is 220 single phase. Um, but this one's actually a little bit more pricey. It comes in at 3,100 bucks. And that's because Quincy's always been known to be a very reputable brand. They, they make high quality stuff. And so this compressor is gonna last a very long time. Um, again, it is slightly more expensive and that's just the, the distributor pricing that we were able to find around here. It might vary depending on where you guys are at. Um, but Quincy, again, has always been a very good brand. To kind of summarize this list, as you guys can see, we typically recommend seven and a half horsepower at an 80 gallon tank. That's just because the seven and a half horsepower typically means that you're gonna have enough CFM to actually operate this machine. And the 80 gallon tank means it's not gonna to have to be running all the time. Um, it just actually has enough storage volume to supply your machine. Now, if you guys can get 20 CFM at 100 PSI, depending on what compressor it is, that's the absolute bare minimum for the majority of our machines. So again, the Weekend Warrior, the 800 FL, you guys are going to want to have 20 CFM at 100 PSI. Anything less than that and your compressor is not really gonna be able to keep up. That's why a lot of times if you have a smaller compressor, you'll see your pressure gauge actually drop as you're operating the machine. Now, if you guys have a five horsepower compressor, and it is close to that and you want to try it, I say go for it. Um, if your compressor's older, you know how that works. Sometimes you'll actually lose a bit of CFM, but um, definitely try your five horsepower first. If you guys are buying a new machine and you're looking to upgrade, I would say most definitely go ahead and get a seven and a half horsepower. Um, with things like the Ingersoll Rand Type 30, the five horsepower is actually almost as expensive as the seven and a half. So it's really a no brainer to just go ahead and upgrade. Um, but again, 20 CFM at 100 PSI is the absolute bare minimum. If you guys can get 25 CFM at 100 PSI, that's much better. And then 30, of course, is where you're really gonna have no problems. You're not gonna have to stop. Your compressor will actually keep up with your machine. 
um, and it's what we recommend. And also the larger your tank can be, the better. Just again, that's more storage. Um, that means that your, your machine's actually gonna be able to run longer before your compressor has to keep on, kick on and, and actually support that machine. One last thing I wanna say before you guys go is actually to discuss the airlines that you're running to your machine. We actually, in our showroom, use the Rapid Air Kit from Northern Tool. Um, it's very easy to install. It's kind of like a plastic um, pipe that you can easily bend, supply to your machine. We recommend at least a half inch airline if you guys are um, going to be having your machine like 30 feet or so away from your machine definitely use a half inch if not larger do not use a quarter inch airline unless you are sitting right beside your compressor and even at that we would recommend using a half inch the larger size hose or pipe that you guys run to your machine the better not only is that going to provide a little bit extra storage but you're actually not necking down your cfm because that can happen you do have a cfm drop if you're running too small of a line for too long. So again, we recommend three quarter, like the rapid air kit, um, half inch lines work as long as you aren't getting too far away. But if you guys have any questions about that type of thing, recommendations for your shop, we have people here that can help you out. So call in, we'll, we'll help get you set up. If you guys have any other questions regarding our machines, leave them in the comments below. We'll definitely make a video on them or you guys can call us at 828-202-5563. And also, if you guys are ready to pull the trigger on one of these machines and get the absolute best wet blasting equipment on the market today in your shop, again, you can call us at 828-202-5563. We're here to help you guys. Again, any questions you have, drop them in the comments below. We wanna thank you guys for watching. Hope this was informative and have a great day. Peace.